Have you ever heard of any of these phrases? It's five o'clock somewhere. I've seen it all, done it all. I just can't remember most of it. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor. Whether you like it or not, drinking is a very common practice in today's society, especially amongst college students. This video is a public service announcement that aims at showing college students how to consume alcohol and have a good time in a safe and respectable manner. Preparation is the key to any situation, and alcohol consumption is no different. How can we prepare ourselves for a night of drinking? Think about it. Does this activity really need alcohol? Are you of age? Drinking as an underage college student can put you at risk of losing scholarships and going to jail. Have you eaten today? You need to eat high protein food like cheese and meat. Why? This slows the absorption rates of alcohol. Eating after has little or no effect on your blood alcohol content. Stay hydrated. Alcohol acts as a diuretic, which means that it increases the rate of urination. This can dehydrate the body, so it is important that you drink plenty of water before you drink. Always plan your transportation. If you are drinking, you should never drive. Either walk or use public transportation to get to your destination. If possible, try to leave your keys at home. Have a designated driver who should remain sober the entire night. Park in appropriate spots so that your car isn't towed. Save a taxi company's number in your phone just in case you need a ride home. And have another friend who is sober ready to call in case of an emergency. Your friends are there for a reason. Keep your friends together. Keep, they will help you keep safe on the way to and from your destination. If you use the buddy system, that'll help you not to become a victim. And you guys can create hand signals so that they can get you out of sticky situations and conversations. It's very important to schedule your drinking. Now, I'm not saying, you know, plan to drink a whole week in advance, but you must have priorities. Do you have a test tomorrow? Do you have some work to complete? If you do, maybe you don't need to drink today. Take vitamins daily. Vitamins, especially the B vitamin, are great for maintaining your metabolism and controlling low blood sugar problems. They can also help to satisfy any cravings of alcohol that you may have. Are you on medication right now? Some medicines, especially antihistamines, will cause extreme sedation when paired with alcohol. It is best practice not to drink while you are on any type of medication. Set your limits. Identify how many drinks that you're gonna have and stick to that number. Men should not have more than four drinks in any day and no more than 14 drinks in a week. Women should not have more than three drinks in a day and no more than seven drinks in a week. Carry protection. Alcohol can lead to bad decisions, especially when it comes to sex. So make sure you stay safe and carry condoms, whether you are a male or a female. Now that we know what to do before we start drinking, let's look at what we should do while we drink. Are you drinking around an occasion? Drinking should not be the primary focus of any activity. Make sure you choose your drinks and what you mix them with carefully. Sugary juices and sodas often increase the absorption of alcohol in your bloodstream. Diet sodas are even faster. Water is actually one substance that slows the absorption in your bloodstream. Make sure you alternate drinks. If you have an alcoholic drink, then drink a regular drink before you drink more alcohol. For example, if you have a rum and coke, drink a regular coke before you have another rum and coke. Also, do not alternate different liquors such as a white liquor and then a brown liquor. This can definitely make you sick. Slow down. If you only have one drink per hour, alcohol will not build up in your bloodstream. Jello shots, regular shots, and beer palm can rapidly increase your blood alcohol levels, which makes you sick. Drinking games make it hard to judge how much you've been drinking, so be very wary of those. Just say no to strangers. Only let your bartender pour your drink. 
Don't leave the drink unattended, not even for a second. And don't let anyone else touch your drink. Alcohol can be used as a date rate drug, so make sure you protect yourself and the people around you. Make sure you keep a close eye on your surroundings. Make sure that your designated driver has not been drinking. If you feel extremely drunk after just a few drinks, get help because you may have been slipped a date rate drug. Make sure your environment is safe. Don't let anyone lock you in any rooms by yourself. When you leave a party, leave with your friends. Make sure all of your friends make it home. And most importantly, trust your instincts. Feeling sick? Here's some drunken first aid. Have you ever heard about black coffee, a cold bath, or exercise making you sober up quicker? These are not true. Only your liver can control your black blood alcohol level. One drink equals one hour to sober up. In order to prevent a hangover, you need to drink water to counteract your dehydration, and you need to take an ibuprofen when you wake up the next morning. Has one of your friends had one too many? Put your friend on a bed or another comfortable place and roll him or her to the side. Make sure he or she is breathing, and if their breathing is irregular, get help. Don't be afraid to call 911. Even if you are underage and drinking, many schools will not punish you for calling an ambulance to help a friend. Let's look at some problems that we can encounter and how we should address those problems. Is your friend unresponsive? Does he or she have slow or shallow breathing, which is 13 or fewer breaths per minute, or going eight seconds without taking a breath? Does he or she have cold, clammy, pale or bluish skin? Are they having repeated or uncontrolled vomiting? If so, this person may have alcohol poisoning. Call 911 and continue to check on that person. Do you think you're having a problem with binge drinking? Try to only drink socially and make notes of any addictions that you have in your family. Don't let it become a habit. Get help. The long-term effects of binge drinking is memory loss, liver or kidney damage or failure, and certain forms of cancer. Don't become a victim of peer pressure. Hang out with friends that have similar interests and don't let your friends force you to drink. Know what or who triggers you to drink and try to avoid them to slow it down. We have learned various methods for staying safe while drinking alcohol in the college atmosphere. But keep in mind that these tips can definitely last a lifetime. Always remember, being safe with this cold one is definitely better than being this cold one.